Hi everyone, it's Eve here from Professional Beauty. Um, we're back with our second PB London talk. So I'm going to be joined very soon by Sherry Emery from Globebright Marketing, um, who is one of the speakers at Professional Beauty London. So yeah, very excited to have her with us today. She's going to tell us a little bit more about how to use Google Ads. Um, I think there's lots of salons out there that are using Google Ads and a lot that have never tried it. So hopefully Sherry can give us a little bit of insight into why it's worth doing if you're a salon or a, an independent beauty business and a couple of tips on how to do it. So yeah, how to get started really on Google Ads. I think she'll, she'll share a few insights on the sorts of things she'll be talking to us about at Professional Beauty London. And um, yeah, also hopefully kind of give us some tips on um, her other topic, which is going to be, um, is your digital, oh, excuse me, is your digital presence killing your business? So yeah, hopefully not <laughs> is the answer, but we'll get some tips from Sherry on what salons are doing wrong um, digitally. So oh, I think she has just adding her in. But yeah, any minute now we'll get Sherry on and she will tell us a little bit more about this. So I think it should be an interesting topic. There's lots of salons I'd like say. Ooh. Hello Sherry. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm just in the coffee shop, so I'm going to do just a little bit baby, lots of baby noise. <laughs> I can hear you okay. Let me turn up my volume. You're a little bit quiet, but I can hear you. Sorry. Um, that's I right. seem to have joined the baby group. No, it's not. <laughs> no worries. It's all this multitasking right now. I completely get it. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for joining. I was just saying before I brought you in that obviously you're going to be speaking at Professional Beauty London on, the, yeah. on two different topics, which is yeah. great. Um, yeah, I'm so, so the excited. first one, oh sorry. No, I was just saying I'm so excited to do both talks and yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be fabulous. We're excited to have you. I think it's the first time you've spoken on our um, business stages, isn't it? So it's good. Yeah. So yeah, actually, for people that don't know, we've got two business stages this year at Professional Beauty London. One is focused on management and operations and the other on uh, marketing and social media, which is the one Sherry's going to be talking on. So thank you. So Sherry, I was just saying, um, one of the topics you're going to be speaking on is Google Ads. So initially, would you be able to share why do you think someone should be using Google Ads if they're not? So if you're not using Google Ads, you do because there's a myth that it's super expensive. So basically, if you are spending six pounds on a coffee and a croissant every morning, then you can afford Google Ads. That's how cost effective that, that, it, that it can be. So you can literally spend five pounds a day on Google Ads. And the reason why it's so important is A, it, it ranks you higher up on the page, but it's a really good way to make sure that you are attracting to new clients and also making sure that you're present for your current clients. And it's super cost effective, it's really easy, and it's, it's, it's just a super important way to make sure that you're visible for when your clients are looking for you. And also, you know, one of, um, one of the problems that I hear a lot is that oh, I need some new clients, I need to make sure I'm where my clients are, and, and, and customers often want to do some more old school flyering and like posters and that kind of thing. But actually, if you had to spend the same amount of money on something like Google Ads, your money would go so much better. Okay. Excellent. So yeah, it's about working out your return on investment. Totally. And your time, right? Like it takes so much more time to create something like a poster, like a flyer than it does on something like Google Ads. And you're going to get a much, much higher return on the money. Excellent. And I suppose to um, give a little bit more insight as to what people can expect from your talk on Google Ads, can you share maybe one tip on um, getting the most from the tool or, or one common mistake that people make to avoid perhaps? Absolutely. So the best thing I can advise is do your keyword research. So that's really looking at things that make you unique. So and really think about what your clients are going to be searching for. So if you are a beauty salon and you really focus on aesthetics, then what kind of aesthetics? You know, people are looking for things like anti-aging facials, but they're not necessarily looking for brand-led facials. So really do your research and think about like what are clients actually looking for, not what therapists are looking for. And that's the common mis misconception that I hear a lot. It's like, oh, you know, we need to make sure that we're advertising so-and-so's brand facial. And I can promise you that the customers aren't really looking for that. The customers are much more looking for, I'm looking for an anti-aging facial, I'm looking for an anti-wrinkle facial. 
I'm looking for a relaxing massage. You know, um, do your keyword research and really think from a client's point of view, not from a therapist's point of view. And that would be my, be my biggest tip because that's something I hear a lot of as well. We, we, we really need to be talking about the kinds of uh, facials that, that we do. And yes, absolutely, we do. But you can do that in a blog, in Instagram, on Facebook, those, those kinds of things. But on your keywords, you really want to focus on what people are actually looking for. So do you that's, great. that's a really good tip. I think um, we're probably, yeah, we're probably in the industry all a bit guilty of that, aren't we? Of kind of um, thinking in professional terms, you know, rather than, rather than client terms at the time. So yeah, as you say, on your menu, it might be um, branded and, and the, the, sort of the name that the brand has given you. But yeah, really kind of thinking about but the client's not so looking for that. that totally. totally. And the good thing with um, Google Ads is you can also do, you, you can do a test run so you can check and, and see first, right, okay, our clients actually searching for, I'm just going to use this as an example, our clients actually using hy hy hyperfacial facials in Surrey, and maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but Google will be able to tell you the amount of searches on that, and then you can decide if you want to put that in your ad or not, so, that, so, so, so that's really handy. Yeah, and go and go and go for the long word um, ones. Well. <laughs> sorry, go. Oh, sorry, I missed that. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just saying, try and go for long words Slightly ones as well. <laughs> so instead of going for really short things like relaxing facial, try and go for relaxing and soothing facial. So you know, the more words you have, the more likely you are to get a specific search term. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and. Also, as I mentioned just before, you are actually speaking at both days of Professional Beauty London. Um, so the Google Ads session is 3pm uh, on the Monday, um, and the other session, which is 12pm on the Sunday the 3rd, is on, um, is your digital presence killing your business? Yes. So could you give us a bit of a sneak peek about that? What sorts of things will you be covering there? Absolutely. So, that, so that's more of a time to kind of title. I'm sure all your digital presence isn't in your business, but it's more to really think about what, what kind of message are you putting out there on your business, on the digital platform? So what do you look like on social media? What does your website look like? What does your SEO look like? What do your Google ads look like? And are they all working together? Because I think what I find quite a lot is that a business might have a really clear idea of what they want their business to look like. And then when you go onto their website or you go into their social media, it's a totally different story because they've not thought it all the way through. So it's just to really think about, right, what do I want my business to say when people are finding me? And do I feel that like that represents me as a brand? Okay, absolutely. So again, is there any kind of one initial tip you could share? Like first thing to look at if you're thinking, is my digital presence right? What's the first thing to, to look at and make sure you're not getting wrong? The first thing I would do is get a friend that you trust to go into your website and try and book an appointment and tell them to give you some feedback on how easy it is. Because what I find loads is customers will have a website but their links don't work or their phone number doesn't work or doesn't click through to anywhere. So go onto your website, not you personally because you're too close. Get, get a friend to go onto it and really go through your website and see, right, okay, does everything work? first of all that that, yeah. that that would be my first thing and honestly it's such an easy thing but you see it all the time for example like just a phone number and go on it on your phone it's my top thing yeah do it on your phone because 70 percent of your traffic is coming from mobile so if you're not doing it on your phone then you're missing out and loads of websites aren't mobile friendly so you know yeah. i can tell you loads of free things that you can do to make your to make your website mobile friendly but get a friend to go onto your website on their phone and give you some feedback. That would be my excellent. Person. Great first start. Excellent. Well, Sherry, I'll, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you Thank so you much. Me. That's given a really, really good insight. Um, and yeah, I think um, if anyone's interested, if you want to have a look, all our talks are live now for booking at professionalbeauty.co.uk forward slash London. So you can find out a little bit more about them there. But yeah, Sherry will be speaking both days. So thank you very much, Sherry. We'll see you there. See you soon. Bye. Thank you. Thanks everyone Bye. for joining us. Bye.